thanks for coming to my channel this is midnight moon tarot and i'm diana this reading is for the astrological sign of cancer sun moon rising venus jupiter or anywhere in your birth chart that cancer might appear also if you're new to my channel i'd like to take just a second and invite you to subscribe and click that little bell so that you're sure to be notified whenever i upload new content also in the description box below you'll find links to my social media my patreon my paypal and links to some really cool Cool things on Amazon I think you guys will like okay so this reading is for March 2021 keeping in mind that all tarot readings are timeless so whether you come across this reading right after I upload a week month or even a year from now if you feel drawn to watch it most likely you'll find a message for you within the reading now if you feel like it's not resonating resonating with you just keep the parts that do disregard the rest feel free to switch the roles around don't try to force it or anything but uh, also, another trick is if you know your other planetary placements, uh, you can listen to those signs as well for additional messages. Sometimes uh, we uh, relate more to our ascendant signs than even our own sun sign. Okay, now with all that being said, let's go ahead and calibrate these cards to the astrological sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, and Jupiter. And ask our angels, guides, and ancestors for any love messages for cancer for the month of March 2021. Okay. Spirit, what love messages do you have for cancer for March 2021? Spirit, what love messages do you have for cancer for March 2021? What love messages do you have for Cancer for March 2021? Okay, I'm dividing into three stacks. And I am... Um, okay, the card on the bottom of the deck is the Death card. Okay, oh uh, well, here we go. But it can mean a lot of things. It's not necessarily something bad. In fact, what comes after death but resurrection, correct? So this could mean like the ending of a cycle for you, uh, especially since we are in Pisces season, which is all about the uh, cleansing and uh, detoxing and uh, letting go of all things that no longer serve us, okay? So we're going to put that card right here at the top. And as we go along through this reading, I'm going to show you how that card will relate to the different cards that are also in your reading. All right, now, uh, for those of you who are new here, I do four rows, and the first column pertains to you, the things that you have gone through in the recent past, things you're currently dealing with, and things that are coming towards you. The second row is the same thing, only for it's your, uh, it's for your twin flame, soulmate, divine counterpart, a karmic partner, uh, this could be an ex you want to reconcile with, uh, someone that maybe you still have those really strong soul ties with. Uh, no matter what you do, you can't seem to break them. That person, the one that's on your mind all the time, uh, first person you're thinking about when you wake up, and that last person you're thinking about when you go to sleep at night. The third column is special because uh, it deals with our inner fears and anxieties and things that we do to self-sabotage ourselves to keep us from uh, getting to where we want to go most of all. And the fourth column is outcome, okay? Now the good thing about tarot is it's not like prophecy where it's like written in stone. It merely relates to you what the energies are. So you can, uh, knowing what these energies are, if you're not happy with that outcome, you can have a plan B or, you know, instead of uh, being reactive, you can, uh, you know, choose a different just a different situation that you want to do. Okay, now I've just laid out two cards in each of the four rows, and I'm going to do that two more times, okay? And uh, that way we'll have 24 cards. It's kind of a past, present, future kind of situation, and we'll have a really good idea about what's going on. So starting out the 
reading, we have the Four of Pentacles as well as the Two of Pentacles. So again, uh, you have a lot of really strong earth energy around you. This is someone or somebody that you have been with, uh, you know, with, especially with the death card. It may be somebody from your past that you've just had a super hard time letting go. Uh, this is reflected in the fact that he has his two feet on these two coins, just like really holding them down. He's holding the other coin over his heart and the other one is over his head and it's almost I don't want to say like an obsession but you can you can really and truly have these uh, soul ties with somebody whether they are your soulmate or not especially if it's a really toxic person and the fact that we have this uh, gentleman here with this two of coins with his back turned to the water which is you and the more you seem to be upset the more he has his back turned towards you and he's just happy and jolly and paying attention to his own needs and you see the infinity symbol that he's juggling with and that that just uh, creates the the knowledge that uh, it's always going to be that way I don't really see a change with this person or personality uh, when they left you and they went on to someone else or and then they left that person and so on and so on and all the people that were before you nobody ever saw a change that person this person is someone who is just really um, either super emotionally hurt and damaged and reacting out or they are someone that is mean cruel and evil the <laughs> one or the other but uh, they don't really seem to have a lot of emotion when it comes to uh, other people's feelings. So in your partner's column, we have the sun as well as the judgment card. So this judgment card, you know, I was talking about the resurrection after the death card. And here you have the lovers that are resurrecting. So there, there might be... Uh, with your person from your past, they may decide to show themselves again. Maybe they are in severe need or something uh, of companionship, not necessarily money or anything, just because maybe they are lonely or they are reaching out and they are uh, trying to act like everything is happy when you know that it's no, nothing's ever going to be different. And this is when you have to uh, use this judgment card and decide what it is that you want. Are you going to listen to them and just have like a verbal relationship with them where they are telling you the things you want to hear, but their actions are in the way they're living their life is something completely different than from what you're telling, they're telling you. So you're going to have to decide what it is you want. Do you like pretty words or do you like something real? Okay, so we have the Six of Wands as well as the Wheel of Fortune in your obstacles, challenges, fears, anxieties, and such. And, you know, there's a lot of change that's happening. A lot of different things are going on and you're finding that, uh, you know, you're finally coming into your own just a little bit. You're discovering yourself. Uh, you know, things may, your luck is changing. So be, especially, you know, it's March, it's St. Patrick's Month. You know, maybe there's a little bit of uh, luck of the Irish coming for you anyway, but uh, you should see a turn for the better. Um, I don't really see anything negative in this, except for the fact that, you know, as you become more and more successful, this person right here, even though the relationships ended or they cheated or for whatever reason, the two of you guys are not together, uh, they see you. Uh, being prosperous and moving on and happy and think they think about and they reminisce about that life not in the way that a normal person like you or I would where you know we would really genuinely miss that uh, they miss the fact that while you were being prosperous you have something that they could take okay now whether that is your mental energy or that is uh, your new enlightenment and this growth that you've been having or if it's you know material goods all right in the uh, outcome we have the two of swords as well as the chariot and this is telling us to step back to not let things don't rush into something now, even though the chariot indicates a lot of swift and fast movement the fact that these two little sphinxes are sitting tells me that <clears throat> 
you know, something's going to hold you up. You know, this is not the way to go. They're, they're not wanting to budge, okay? They're being hard-headed like a mule or something. But again, uh, you previously had the Judgment card, and now you have the Two of Swords. And this is when you're having to make these critical decisions to use your head over your heart and your emotions, which is really hard for a Cancer to do. You have to, uh, you know... She's wearing a blindfold. You have to, uh, you know, put this blindfold on yourself so that you are not affected by, uh, you know, so that you use your better judgment. I don't even know how to put this into words. I'm just, I have feelings when I relate to spirit. So it's difficult. So basically, don't uh, use your heart to make these decisions right now. Uh, make a list. Pros and cons. What would you get out of this relationship if you were to uh, be there? But most importantly at all, of all, you know, the opposite of um, love is not hate. It's like indifference, ambivalence. And basically with this Two of Swords, the Two of Swords is also about calling a truce, just letting it go, whatever, you know, just let, just let whatever be, be. And so this is another aspect of the death card, being able to put that behind you. And it's like, you know, there's different stages of grieving and grief, and, and each one of them is horrible while you're going through them. But it feels as if you've finally gotten through that cycle to the point where you're at acceptance, okay? Now, I'm going to lay down this second set of cards, and we have the King of Swords as well as the Page of Swords. Uh, partners column, we have the moon and the four of wands. Obstacles and challenges, we have the eight of pentacles and the seven of swords. And in your outcome, we have the ace of pentacles and the devil. Okay, so here we go. The king of swords says that your best judgment is telling you at all costs to eliminate this, to, uh, you know, Accept it for what it was, uh, grateful for the time that you are with this person, uh, but it's time to definitely move on. And any type of communication that they want to bring to the table now, uh, whether it's letters, phone calls, texts, things like that, uh, it's this is the time that you're going to be hearing from them. And it's going to be difficult for you because uh, being a Cancer, you are more emotional and you remember the sweet times and the good times. And the further and further you get away from it, the, the more angry and hateful things that happen during the relationship, those get further and further away. And it's just the way that our brain protects us. But don't be fooled because you would have the same type of scenario. Remember, this person has never changed before you and they've never changed after you, okay? So unless you just want to set yourself up to go through that whole entire uh, cycle of healing again, uh, you're taking years to, to come to terms with what really happened or what actually happened or what we believed what you believed the relationship was versus what it actually is. And sometimes you don't even really find that out or discover that till years later. Now, in your partner's column, you have the Four of Wands as well as the Moon. And this indicates that there was a lot of deception. This person led you to believe that they were indeed your soulmate, that the two of you were meant to be. And that's just how it was, that you were their goddess or their uh, partner or uh, whatever sex that you may uh, find yourself involved with. There's no gender in the tarot, which is the words that I happen to use because I'm a female, right? So, yeah. So the, the deception, the amount of deception that you received was crazy because they would be with you, sharing their life with you, living with you, day-to-day -day life with you, and every time your back was turned, they were doing something that they shouldn't have done and when you asked about it uh they would lie about it okay uh some people say that if somebody is in a relationship with you and they're doing something they're not supposed to do and they lie about it that they're doing that because they value you and they don't want to lose you because if you knew you wouldn't have anything to do with them and so the seven of swords brings us to that type of person the lying sneaky manipulated 
manipulative type person that this uh, earth sign is. The person that, uh, you know, will do something as long as they can get away with it. And if they get caught, they deny, they deny, they deny. They make you believe that uh, it didn't happen or that you misinterpreted or, you know, you're making it up. So in this column with the eight of pentacles, this shows that this is the time for healing. This is time for uh, self-reflection, time to continue working on yourself. You've done an awesome job. You've been working on yourself. You've had a lot of spiritual and emotional growth after this relationship, and you really are coming to see this person for what they are and uh, being able to move past that. Now in your outcome, you have the Ace of Pentacles as well as the Devil. Now the Devil is really strong Capricorn energy, which is also Earth energy, and this, as well as this uh, Pentacle here. So the uh, universe is just about to smile on you, and they're about to say, here is these wonderful opportunities, okay? Do you need to find yourself bound with this person again? They're going to come back around. They see that you have these opportunities. They want to connect with you. They want to be with you. But all they will do with, you know, after you've done all the cord cutting and uh, all that healing and all that releasing, it, they will bind, to them, bind you to them again. And it can bring you down into uh, that codependent type relationship again and, uh, you know, totally throw you off focus from entering your new life. It's kind of hard uh, to accept this coin from the universe and be uplifted and, and enter into your new life through this little doorway here while you are being bombarded by lies and deceit and being that's that would hold you back it would keep you from getting there and sometimes that is exactly uh what that person wants because they delight in the fact that um you have failed. They want you to fail. They will say to your face that they're encouraging you, but uh, they feel threatened. Okay. Now, in your last chapter, you have the um, Page of Cups and Two of Wands. Your partner has the um, Two of Cups as well as the Magician. Okay. And you have the Nine of Cups as well as the Nine of Pentacles. And your final outcome is the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Swords. All right, yeah. So this is the time, yeah, you can communicate. You can put your uh, wishes out there into the future. You can manifest exactly what it is you want. This is you holding the world as if it were a crystal ball, looking out between these two wands into uh, the wild blue, uh, trying to imagine it is what it is you want from your future, what you want from your life, and all the good things that can come your way, okay? And you're putting that love out there into the universe. And what happens when we do that? Well, it's the law of attraction. What you're putting out there is going to come right back to you. So the last few years or months or however long it's been since you've been separate from this person, while you may have been feeling hurt or sad or resentful, and that's what you were putting out into the universe. That's what you were getting back was more and more of that. But now that you have that healing and now that you've broken free uh, and you're putting love out there into the world, that is what you are receiving. So definitely uh, this new there will be new love coming into your life. You have manifested it. You've created it. This is a love that respects boundaries. This is the love that sees you as an equal person. And yes, roles are different in every relationship. There's masculine and feminine roles, regardless of what gender you are. If you date same sex, there's still mas divine masculine and divine feminine. And the thing is, uh, both people are equal yet different and complement each other and this union that will be coming in is truly a blessing and it's something that you deserve uh, most of all especially after all of the uh, hurt trauma and uh, deceit that you have been going through so just keep manifesting the things that you want and they will um, you will find that they're going to be coming right to your door <clears throat> Now, in the obstacles, challenges, fears, anxieties, we have that Nine of Pentacles as well as the Nine of Cups. And this tells me, Cancer, you're kind of getting set in your ways. You're kind of, it's like kind of comfortable at home. There's a lot of peace at home. You don't have that constant arguing. You're not having to deal with somebody's hatefulness or addictions or alcoholism or drug use or 
uh, you know, emotional abuse or whatever it is this person does. But there was something, there's some kind of trait that this person had that, uh, you know, really disrupted the peace in your home. So uh, don't give that up. It belongs to you. You've earned it. But don't get so set in your ways that you end up blocking uh, the blessings that you are trying to manifest. Okay? Don't block this new love that's coming in for you. All right. Now, the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Well, things are changing, and they're changing really fast. And you are... Uh, in charge now you are the one who has because you have broken free because of this death card because of this new rebirth for yourself because of all the things that you have tended to and your perfect little world and garden that you have grown around you uh yeah you have succeeded you are free you are yourself now uh you no longer are encumbered okay uh you finally let go and those things can't hurt you or bother you anymore unless you let them back in when this person comes around seeing how far you've grown and they want to make use of that for their own like a sneaky little vampire okay i love you guys and i will talk to you soon and thank you so much for all of your comments like shares and subscribes and i will see you guys here in a few days next week all right. Love you. Bye-bye.